Hello and welcome to the channel if it's your first time here. We have left our security in Lastriga Helmand and we are now in the western city of Hera. The drive up here was absolutely gorgeous. It took about six hours from Lastriga, the capital of Helmand. Um, all of the intercity highways now are perfectly safe day and night to drive on, which is really, really fantastic. And the first thing I'll tell you about what I've noticed in Herat so far is that it is absolutely packed full of history. Behind me is the Blue Mosque, which is like bang in the middle of the city. Welcome to the Blue Mosque in the center of Herat, Afghanistan. Check out the scale of this thing, man. Imagine how long this took to build. And again, I keep saying it, but the intricate detail on these minarets, like all hand painted, hand tiled, and the colors that remain are so, so saturated still. This place is absolutely breathtaking. This is better than anything I saw in Kabul, I have to say. Just the size of this place, it doesn't do it justice in the videos that I'll show you. But even just from the two main minarets, there has to be about 50 metres of distance. And the minarets themselves are about 80 metres tall. Just the amount of stuff that's going on here, my brain can't quite comprehend like just how long this would have taken to build just how much effort would have been put into like getting everything right here and just through these doors here there's a little secret room in the back of the mosque and in this cabinet here in this box it's covered up there are hairs from uh, the Prophet Muhammad. What an absolute treat to be able to walk around this world-class historical site. And it's such a shame that just because this place is in Afghanistan, like no one wants to come and visit it, but really this has been one of the most breathtaking things I've ever seen in my life. What a gorgeous time to visit this place, right, as the sun's setting as well. And that lovely sort of golden colour is falling across all of the tiles on this mosque. Let's go and have a look at the minarets up close. You've got these sort of gorgeous Quranic verses inscribed on the side. And then these sort of really classic Islamic sort of floral designs all the way up to the top of the minaret. Take a look at how the light hits these sort of painted tiles on the mosque, man. It's magical. And then here seems to be like this gigantic sort of ancient cast iron cooking pot with this beautiful sort of inscriptions on the side of it. Yeah, I'm absolutely speechless, man. I hardly have any words. Um, this is probably the most beautiful place I've ever seen in my life. Just the scale of it, how well every... Just the scale of it, the fact that everything, every inch of this place is covered in like beautiful hand-painted colors. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm spellbinded. And just when you think Herat couldn't deliver us any more on our first day here. And we've just come across this place in the middle of Herat city. Um, it's sort of like a big graveyard. And then this piece here is a shrine to a gentleman who was a famous Sufi scholar from Herat. And check these gorgeous headstones out as well, man. Just like all done in white marble. And the hand etching on them is just gorgeous. Yeah, like we didn't even plan to come here, we just happened to stumble across this place after a short drive from the Blue Mosque. And to be able to stumble across a place like this in the middle of a city shows you just how rich in culture and history head art is. This place is absolutely magical, man. Just look at how big this sort of main gate archway is. Oh, dude, and these sort of places almost look a bit cooler 
when like the paint and when the tiling's falling away because like cause it sort of makes you think like this is part of history imagine all the things this place has seen being in Afghanistan and apparently Turkey restored this place in 2019 with the old Afghan government and evening prayers are happening here currently. I'm waiting outside, obviously, um, and a few Talibs have just walked past giving me a bit of a hard time. Why aren't you praying? Why aren't you going to the mosque? And I try to explain to them, you know, I'm just a visitor here. They didn't seem to understand me and they walked off looking a little bit angry, um, but nothing else more than that happened, really.